Well, just when we thought we'd heard it all with Cat Kerr and Michael Jackson in heaven, someone else sees this as an opportunity to ride the coattails of this story. This fella claims to be Michael Jackson's lawyer in heaven. This is Manuel Johnson doing an interview with Steve Schultz. If you're not familiar with Manuel, he's a pastor at Mega Praise Ministries that also hosts a TV show called The Truth. As many in today's church, he focuses on prophecy and believes that Trump will be re-elected. And by the looks of it, his past videos seem to also believe or prophesy that Trump would have a second term. But he obviously had to change that to 2022, being that it didn't happen in 2021. And of course, there's lots of products to buy. 16 pages to be exact. So, what exactly does Prophet Manuel have to say about Michael Jackson? He says that God took him to heaven where he took on the assignment of interceding for Michael Jackson. Well, that brings up two questions. What was he interceding for? Because doesn't scripture say that Jesus is our advocate, the one who intercedes for us to God the Father? And he's interceding when we sin, and we know Manuel is not doing that for anyone. I'll leave the link to this page so that you can actually watch the video, but he goes on to say that God has given him an assignment as an attorney and that there was an office in heaven with his name on it, and he would intercede for very well-known people. Once again, the only one interceding for us in heaven is Jesus. Not Prophet Manuel, not Mary, only Jesus. He continues to tell us that MJ really did go to heaven, but in reality, only God knows who's in heaven. He goes on to speak of witches and warlocks trying to keep Michael out, but that didn't happen, and now he's singing and dancing for the Lord. I certainly hope he's not dancing in heaven how he danced on earth, because he had a nasty habit of grabbing certain body parts that I don't think would be acceptable in heaven. And we're not going to show those pics here. The article finishes off with a skeptical look at his doctorate and honorary doctorate. If we click on the link, we are brought to this page. And if we click to apply, oops. Once again, these are storytellers we are warned of in Second Peter. From past videos, most agree that the majority of people on Sid Roth are some of the false teachers we are warned about. I think we can say the same for people doing interviews with Steve Schultz. Of course, we'd like nothing more than to see these people repent and quit with this nonsense. But until that happens, we will continue to expose the ridiculous stories these people tell in hope that others would stop following them. So. As always, leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.